What's up everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today I will be showing you how to install a new head shell and cartridge on your Technics SL1200 Mark II. So after unpacking the head shell and the cartridge, you'll notice that both of them come with hardware. Uh, so the hardware you'll wanna use, you have three different options. The one that comes with the uh, cartridge is probably gonna work best, but if you want something a little slimmer, um, the head shell comes with some options as well. So to figure out which one you need, um, all I do is just hold the cartridge in place, make sure the cover stays on. You don't wanna be touching the needle at this point or ever really. Um, so if we kind of test fit this, um, this is probably gonna to be too short. I'm not gonna really be able to fit the nut on there. And the other option from the head shell is actually shorter. So we're gonna to wanna to use the hardware from the cartridge. So um, what you want to do is get the hardware started on here, just loosely, see them on this side. And then we're gonna fit our cartridge in here. And then you can um, make sure the wires are out of the way. Tighten these down, but not all the way. We will have to adjust the head later once it's on the turntable. So you can tighten these down just enough to hold the uh, cartridge in place for now. Okay. Next step is attaching these wires. They are nicely color coded on the back. Um, we have blue, red, white, and this over here is ground, which is green. Um, I like to use this tool. Uh, it's like an artery clamp. Um, and makes it pretty easy to um, just grab onto the wire, stick it in place. You'll do this for all four. Now that those are on there, our head shell is put together, but not quite adjusted. So what we're gonna do is put it on here. And the first adjustment we're gonna make is the balance adjustment. So first what you wanna do is let the arm float um, so it's not locked down. And as you can see, it just falls right now. You want to set the weight so that the tone arm just floats. So it doesn't fall one direction or the other, it just floats. We're getting close. That's pretty close, still falling. As you can see there, it's, it's pretty loose. So I'd say that's pretty good, just floating. It's falling a little bit, but it's very light. And then you wanna set this to the zero point at the top. So you have a reference for zero. Why don't you just bring that over here? I'll look at it. So then what we're gonna do is look at the documentation. This comes with the cartridge, but also um, you could just Google it. Um, it's really easy information to find, but what you're looking for is the tracking force. So the recommended tracking force range, it says, is three to five. So, of course, in the middle of that is four. Um, so we can see over here, that's marked. We marked our zero point, so don't touch this one anymore. And then you want to make it so that um, the cartridge weight moves this way. So we're righty-tighty from this 
way. And we're gonna set this line to the number four. Yeah. Which in this case is just zero. And now our tracking force is set. Now we're gonna do an alignment for the head. Let me grab the tool for that. So now we're gonna use this fancy tool I have to adjust the alignment for the cartridge. I didn't mention before, the tracking force, um, you need to adjust that for a couple of reasons. If the stylus is too, if the tracking force is too high, you'll get more um, groove noise and it'll be noisier. If the tracking force is too low, you're more likely to skip around on a heavy bass note or if you bump the turntable. So you wanna set the tracking force for the cartridge um, and it will be the best sound you can get out of the cartridge. The alignment is to get your left and right even and um, it also helps with groove noise. And then the last thing, uh, the last two things I should say we will be adjusting is the anti-skate, which is when the tone arm lifts up and down, it moves left and right, and we want it to go up and down in the same spot consistently. And the very last thing is the height, which is this big wheel here, and we'll need a record for that. So what we're doing right now is we are gonna do the cartridge alignment. So I have this fancy tool. Um, you don't necessarily need to buy one of these. You can just, there are files online to just print off this exact thing on printer paper. Um, but since I have it, I'm gonna use it. So what, you, what we're gonna do is look at the front of the cartridge and line that up. We can take this off, be very gentle. I'm gonna set the needle down right in the center of that. Okay, and I'm gonna look at the alignment. Now I can see that the cartridge is angled this way from how it should be. So what I'm gonna do, lift it up and loosen this, and then just kind of slide it forward like that. Okay. Let me look again. The needle on the crosshair. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Um, now I'm gonna look on the other way. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty centered. Now you also need to check it on this one. Um, any slight variance in it will show up when you check it on both. For example, I can see the cartridge is now angled this way a little too far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. I'm going to tighten this down. I come over here and loosen this. Let's bring it forward a little bit. Tighten it back down. And then check it again. Looks pretty good. Check this one. And that looks pretty good. You'll want to get look at it at different angles to see the discrepancies. But now I would say that that is aligned properly. So let's put that cover back on. You can also use this same tool to align the anti skating adjustment, which is the left and right adjustment. Um, but you can also just use a record, and when you lift the arm up and put it back down, it should land in the same part of the song. So how I'm gonna use it with this is I'm gonna line up the side with one of those lines and keep good line of sight on it, and we'll just lift the arm up and down a few times and see if it moves to the left or right. It should land back in the same spot. So we'll lift it up and put it down, lift it up, put it down. I don't know if you can see, it's pretty subtle, but every time I do that, the arm is moving this way slightly. And the anti-skating setting is all the way down, so that's expected. Let me put it up to one and see how it does. I'm gonna set it back where I have a point of reference. Move it up and down a couple of times. Okay, that's better. But now it's very slowly, like more subtle than before, moving this way. So I'm gonna re reduce the anti-skating back a little bit, about halfway between those two points, get my point of reference back. 
and then move the arm up and down. Okay, we're very close. It's moving this way again. So let's put it back up a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. So it's landing back in the same spot every time um, and that's all set. So we are done with this tool. So for the next step, the final step, we're gonna adjust the height and for that, I will need a record. So for this, I'm just gonna use a Serato scratch disc. Um, ours is pretty beat up just cause it's in the repair department and we use it for this kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna take the cap off and just set the cartridge down somewhere on the record. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is look at it from this angle. Let me move the camera real quick for you. So the angle you wanna look is, is where the record is totally flat. Um, you can't see the other side of it, it's totally flat. And what we're looking for with this adjustment is that the arm is also totally flat. I can see in this case that the um, shell head is a little bit down from the um, tone arm over here. So that means we're gonna have to tighten this adjustment and bring the arm down a little bit. So let me place this back over here so we don't damage the needle. And some of these are kind of stuck. There is a lock for it, make sure that's unlocked. So I'm just gonna spin this. We'll go down to maybe a three and try it again. Let's look, that looks pretty, pretty flat to me. Um, I'm not sure how it looks on camera. This is also, can be up to personal preference. So this adjustment isn't as important as the other ones. Um, I'd say the most important for a new cartridge is the tracking force adjustment. Um, but this adjustment, uh, it just feels good to have everything adjusted properly anyway. So we are done. Let me set back up and we'll uh, top things off. So to review, we put on a new head shell. We put a cartridge on that head shell. We did the tracking force adjustment. We did the cartridge alignment. We did the anti-skating adjustment and the height adjustment. This makes the cartridge sound as good as it possibly can. If this is something that looks like it's too much for you, we would be happy to help you with it. You can submit a form at emiaudio.com. Thanks for watching.